the US Army wants to build a networked ecosystem of manned and unmanned weapons to gain a competitive advantage over adversaries and counter-aggression from Russia and China, while delivering a multi-domain capability to meet operational objectives. In this context, the Future Vertical Lift program is an ambitious effort to deliver the next generation of rotorcraft for the US military. Beginning with the Joint Multi-Role Technology Demonstrator Program, the Future Vertical Lift Plan has now evolved. With the Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft, FARA, and the Future Long Range Assault Aircraft, FLARA, as its cornerstones. There were five contenders in the FARA competition to develop a replacement for the Army's now retired OH-58 Kiowa helicopters and a number of AH-64 Apaches used for armed reconnaissance. Bell with the 360 Invictus, Boeing's thrust compounded single engine design, Karim's AR-40 rigid main rotor helicopter with a rotating wing and a pivoting tail rotor. AVX and L3 RS using coaxial compound and ducted fan technologies. And Tsiarkovsky with the Raider X. FARA design requirements call for a solution with 14,000 pounds maximum takeoff weight, 180 knot cruise speed, and a rotor diameter of 40 meters. Two of the five competitors, Bell and Tsiarkovsky, were selected at the end of March to build the FARA prototypes. The program has had a significant cost so far with awards of between $732 million and $938 million, having been made to the five original competing companies. FARA will be an agile, fully integrated platform designed specifically for the US Army requirements. The other effort is FARA. After a down-select decision announced earlier in March, two competitors have been selected for a competitive demonstration and risk reduction phase. Boeing and Sikorsky with the SB-1 Defiant Co-Axial Compound Aircraft and Bell with the V-280 Valor Tilt Rotor. The fielded FLARA aircraft will enhance multi-domain operations as well as provide improved air assault and medical evacuation support. The Army intends to equip its first unit with a FLARA solution by 2030.